Blessings fam, I hope everyone's well. I just wanted to make a short video in response to what's been happening, um, you know, since Sunday, what happened at Speaker's Corner with our sister in Christ, Hartoon, um, being attacked, being stabbed. Um, you know, someone basically tried to kill her in the park. Um, yeah, the footage is all over the internet if you haven't seen. So, um, I've been watching Hartoon for a number of years now. Um, she knows her stuff as far as she knows a lot about Islam, um, a lot about the Quran and the Hadiths, and a lot of, you know, Islamic and Muslim history. Um, she comes from the Middle East, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, she knows her stuff. Um, she, she has a very powerful and provocative ministry, you know what I mean? So she has her own copies of the Quran that she'll drill holes in um you know she wears charlie hebdo t-shirts she has pictures of of the islamic prophet cartoons of him and stuff like that you know these are all very serious things that people in other countries have died for you know what i mean and she is boldly doing this at speaker's corner um you know what i mean so what she's doing you know i wouldn't do it a lot of other people wouldn't do it but she is you know what I mean? And, you know, she, she believes in the Lord Jesus Christ. So, you know, she has the Holy Spirit. So, you know, she's called to that type of ministry. She's called to, to minister to Muslims. She's called to defend the faith to Muslims and do all of that. You know what I mean? And called to go to the arena, which is Speaker's Corner. You know what I mean? It is like an arena, um, like a gladi gladiator arena. You know, me and my brethren was talking about that yesterday and, and it is like that, you know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, she was stabbed, um, you know, pretty horrifically. The guy looked like he, he was aiming to kill her. Um, and yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, I understand that what she, she does um, can be offensive to people and um, yeah. But, you know, that don't warrant <clears throat> anybody um, right to stab her and don't give no one no right to hit her to spit at her to do anything you know what i mean you wouldn't challenge her challenge her into intellectually um how she's challenging um islam you know what i mean um don't just try to silence her challenge her um with the scriptures do you know what i'm saying um so yeah so a lot of people are naturally angered and upset you know what I mean? All kinds of people, not just Christians, just normal people seeing a man stab up a woman like that in public. Um, just, yeah, it, it presses buttons, you know what I'm saying? And I hear people talking about they want to go up to the park and, you know, people want to repay, repay gestures and, um, you know, people talking about our oh, karmas at this and, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know how many of these people are Christians and how many of these people are just, you know, normal people who are just angered by seeing a man attack a woman in that way. Um, but I would appeal to everybody, especially the Christians, to remind you that Jesus said that, you know, bless those who curse you and to pray for your enemies. You know what I'm saying? Um, Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Um, you know what I'm saying? Ephesians says we wrestle not against flesh or blood, but against principalities and, and spiritual wickedness in high places. You know what I'm saying? And within the physical realm at Speaker's Corner, there's enough spiritual stuff going on, fam. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this is what we need to pay attention to. Um, so I just want to remind everybody who thinks, you know, um, you know, let's all go and act like we want to beef, you know, the Islamic community or something like that. Fam, that's not what it's about. I just need everybody to kind of like sober up and come back to what the scriptures say, because I'm seeing a lot. There's nothing wrong with us going to Speaker's Corner to show solidarity um, or even to, to protect, you know what I mean, um, cartoon and maybe some of the other women who are there preaching because there's enough women out there preaching fam <laughs> you know what i'm saying and preaching well preaching the gospel um you know so there's nothing wrong with going there to, to, to show solidarity um but if we're going there and we think like we're not going to be able to control our temper or if we're going there angry don't go fam you know what i mean because 
that's not healthy. Um, <laughs> I don't even go speaker's corner and I don't go because it, it to me, I'm not called there. I don't feel like a calling from the Lord to go to speaker's corner to preach, number one. And another thing, I've been watching speaker's corner for more or less over five years now. I'm familiar with, you know, most of the heavyweights who are out there who are preaching the gospel and preaching it well. Um, you know what I mean? But fam, it's just like, to me, it just looks like an argument sometimes, most of the time, to see who can shout the loudest. You know what I'm saying? Um, and there ain't a lot of, I don't see a lot of fruitfulness within the park and stuff like that. I just see who can shout the loudest, who can make, what team can make that team look more stupid. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I kind of see with that. Um, don't get me wrong now, you know, when the videos go out on YouTube, like I know people are being affected. You know what I mean? People are learning. I'm like people like me, I watch it and I learn things here and there, you know, you got to cipher through all the insults and the, the shouting and all that, but you do learn stuff, you know, um, especially from certain people, man, like, you know, Paperboy, big up Paperboy, he's very knowledgeable brother out there, um, you know what I'm saying, um, Jay Smith knows a lot about Islam, you know, people like that, um, yeah, there's a, you know, brother, brother Kane, there's a lot of people out there, I can't name everybody, that go to Speaker's Corner, that are doing good stuff, um, you know, and presenting the gospel and presenting it well. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? Now, for those of us who, you know, aren't called to go to Speaker's Corner, um, you know, but where we feel calling to evangelism or feel calling to ministry, um, you know what I'm saying? Praise God. Let's engage in that. Um, and it's not about, again, it's not about being right. It's not about puffing yourself up with your head knowledge, you know what I mean? You can engage in a dialogue with a Muslim and don't even need to say anything about their Quran or their Hadith or their Prophet. You can just defend the Bible. Do you get what I mean? Like, there's ways of doing things. Hartoon's way is the way she does it. You know what I'm saying? That don't have to be everybody's way of, of reaching Muslims and that don't have to be... And I'm not trying to put down what Hartoon does neither because I believe there's a place for it. You know what I'm saying? Would I do it? No, like I said, but you know what I'm saying? She does. She feels cool to do it. So God bless her and praise God for her. And um, we can learn a lot from her, fam. You know what I'm saying? So for my people that are angry and upset and you want to mobilize, yeah, fam, mobilize and go and preach the gospel, fam. Don't mobilize and find yourself angry at Hyde Park on Sunday, yeah, where you feel like you want to get into it with a few Muslims. That's dead. That's long. That ain't what God has called you to do. That ain't what Jesus preached in his earthly ministry. Yeah? Remember, we wrestle not against flesh or blood. Does that mean we're, we're punks and we're chiefs and we should make people chief us up? No. But it does mean we should use wisdom when how we're moving and, and how we're sharing the gospel and how we're challenging people and all of that. Because remember, we're supposed to do things with love and grace and gentleness and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, 1, 1 Peter 3.15. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, give people a reason for the hope that you have within you, but do it with gentleness and kindness and love. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. We want to mobilize, fam. Let's mobilize and go and preach the gospel, innit? Yeah. Let's mobilize and bring people to, you know, give people the message and let the Holy Spirit bring people to Christ. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, you know, the Muslim brothers are out there giving dawah, fam. Every day on some street corner, fam. You know what I'm saying? And, and they're doing it um, a lot <laughs> strategically. You know what I'm saying? Us as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ who have the true message, what are we doing? You know, are we just leaving people like Hartoon and that to get on with it? You know, or are we doing our own bit? Are we praying for people like them on the front line and, and, and you know, doing our own little bit? However we do our bit, whether that's you share some other preachers on WhatsApp or Telegram or whatever, or whether that's you're outside the tube station with a, a megaphone preaching the gospel, you know, or whether that's you got a YouTube channel and you're doing it that way, or whether you, however you're doing it, preach the gospel. If you're rapping, praise God. But preach the gospel as well, fam. 
You get what I mean? Let's not just rap about killing demons. Yeah? Let's engage in spiritual warfare for real. Whatever that looks like. Again, I'm not saying we all have to do what Hartoon does. But we are all called to share our faith. Matthew 28, fam. Go and make disciples. Teaching them to obey all that Jesus commanded us. It's biblical, fam. Preach the gospel. Evangelize. That looks different for everybody else. But let's just not talk, fam. Let's do, fam. We see what's going on in the world. It's getting peak. All of this, this whole stuff is a distraction against what's really happening in the world, fam. Can't you see where the governments of the world are going? Not just our government, the whole world. You see what's going on. Let's not get, you know, distracted by Christian and Muslim beef. That's dead, fam. Christians ain't supposed to be beefing nobody. So the man them that I see talking, you know, like they want to go be on something. Or they want to, you know, they're angry. Like if you're very angry about the situation, I advise you not to go to Hyde Park. Yeah? On Sunday. Yeah? Pray about it. Yeah? If you have the Holy Spirit... One of the fruit of the spirit is self-control. You're supposed to be able to control yourself. Yeah? Let's think about what we're doing. Let's remember the Lord is watching. What would Jesus do? Remember those words, fam. It's important, especially in a time like this, fam. Yeah? Let's be sober-minded. Yeah? Let's be strategic. Yeah? Wise as a serpent. Yeah? And let's do this thing, fam. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, fam. The name above every name, fam. We've already got the victory, fam. We've already got it. Jesus got it on the cross for us, fam. We just got to walk into it with the armor. You get me? Like Hartoon getting bus up, getting stabbed, fainting, falling down, and getting up and preaching the gospel, fam. Telling the Muslims to repent, fam. <laughs> wow! It's like reading in, in the book of Acts, fam, when the apostles was getting beaten up, fam. And then praising God for getting beaten up, fam. Yeah? It's that type of thing going on. You get what I'm saying? So let's pray for the brothers and sisters that are on the front line doing evangelism. Let's pray for the brothers and sisters who are dying for the gospel in the Middle East and, you know, in, in, in places, in countries like that, in certain countries of Asia and certain countries where... Christians are being killed because they believe in Jesus. Christians have to worship in secret, have to, you know, praise God, have church in secret, underground. Let's pray for those people, for our brothers and sisters in Christ out there. You know what I'm saying? And let's do our bit for the kingdom. One body, different members. Remember that. I love you, fam. More importantly, Jesus loves you more. Yeah, remember what the Lord said. Bless your enemies. Pray for those who curse you. Yeah? Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Amen.